There is one part of 3D animation that is arguably harder than any of the others. It takes hours to do, and if you don't get it perfect, it can often make or break the shot. That, of course, is materials. See, you could have the greatest modeled asset of all time, with perfect topography, amazing bevels, and the highest level of subdivisions. However, all of that is useless if you don't have a good material. And contrary to popular belief, a material isn't just the color applied to the object. It also encapsulates the reflections, the bump, the displacement, clear coat, and a plethora of other settings. And the hard thing about this is unless you really, really understand this, it's not going to turn out that great. Except, can it? What if I told you that you didn't have to learn a single attribute of material creation? Because I've always understood there are people out there who are a hundred times better at this type of stuff than I could ever be. And these people have literal years in the 3D industry, and I'm literally only 14 years old. So look, no matter how hard I try to create the perfect material, there are always going to be hundreds of people that are way better at it than I could ever be. So what if I told you that I found the secret to achieving the exact same thing? That's where the Material League add-on for Blender comes in handy. Because this add-on was created by the exact same industry veterans I mentioned earlier. These people have years of experience and are truly insanely talented. And together, they've made this add-on that brings these very high quality materials straight into your Blender workflow. All I have to do is select an object, and on the side panel, I can choose from one of the hundreds of materials. But here's where it gets crazy. Instead of just applying material and calling it a day, these are fully customizable, meaning I can change all sorts of options on them. There are hundreds of sliders, options, and ways to introduce a variety into your materials. For example, you can add in displacement, adjust the roughness, manipulate the specular, and tweak the diffuse texture to get the results you desire. As well as this, the add-on also comes with a bunch of different HDRIs that you can click one button and implement into your 3D scene. And honestly, I've talked about tons of add-ons on this YouTube channel, but this definitely earns one of my top three. And the reason for that is there is just so, so, so much you can do with it. So if you want to check it out, there's a link for that in the description. Like always, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.